Hi guys, so I recently tried out the new painting technique, well new painting technique to me that is, um, of this sort of comic book style, cell shading and probably a whole variety of other names. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was fun to do something different and I'm kind of pleased with how he came out, especially to say this was the first time I've ever done this kind of thing. Um, but this guy did take, oh, about two hours, maybe three hours, so quite a long time. So this lovely looking chap is by Mr. Modulork. And what I thought I'd do is I would print out another one, because obviously I love my 3D printer and I love printing. And I'd paint one in the good old slap chop fashion, um, just to show the difference in how they look, as well as obviously how quickly uh, one is compared to the other. So yeah, go check out Mr. Modulork, uh, link in the description, I absolutely love his figures, uh, obviously because they're all orcs. And I took it into my Anycubic Photon Mono X, printed all the parts out, um, and yeah, there's a link in the description guys as well to Anycubic. And they do seem to be having a lot of a uh, lot of little sales here and there. They say the one that I use is the Photon Mono X, but obviously they do a whole variety, of, a good old range of all kinds of printers to kind of suit everyone's budget, which is really cool. And say so I had this one for oh, a good year, year and a bit, uh, never had any issues with it, and mine does get used quite a lot. Um, and yeah, it's still going strong, which is awesome. So there's my original guy, uh, printed out the new one, and yeah, obviously come out exactly the same. Again, this is why I absolutely love 3D printing stuff. It really is having your own sort of toy workshop in your, um, well, wherever you live, which is pretty cool. So yeah, nice simple little figure, easy to put together and just looks awesome. I say I absolutely love orcs, so I'm a little bit biased there. So as I mentioned, the uh, the cell shaded um, little orc here um, took sort of, yeah, a good two hours, over two hours. And while I did kind of enjoy it, um, it's not something I would want to do to obviously every miniature. Um, I, like, I do like the look of it. But it's definitely not my usual sort of go-to look, as I do look things to look a bit more, a bit more realistic, um, kind of like lifelike, I guess. But definitely battle-worn, and yeah, they've seen better days. So this is where this old underbrushing, dry brushing, undercoating, whatever sort of other names it might have, uh, really works well for my style. Um, again, I know this isn't to everyone's, but for me, this is just yeah, I love it. And I say the speed is just awesome, especially when I want to paint up, obviously, like a full set of kill team. Um, even though obviously the kill teams are relatively small compared to obviously normal 40k, uh, yeah, this is my go-to method for those, just because it's it is so quick, so easy, and I absolutely love the results. So yeah, this little chap obviously primed in black, dry brushed uh, grey, dry brushed white, um, and then yeah, you just sort of paint the colours on, and it really is kind of like painting by numbers. As long as you don't go over the edges or over the lines, uh, yeah, you really can't go wrong, and this is that simple that anyone can do it. I say, especially if someone like me that can do it, uh, who used to hate painting and yeah, just didn't like miniatures at all. Well, I love miniatures, I just didn't want to paint them because I knew I'd ruin them. Uh, yeah, this is just so quick and easy. So yeah, so the timings, um, so this, this dude was painted in about 20 minutes, but that doesn't include the priming or the dry brushing. Mainly because obviously when you prime it, you have to leave it for like 10 minutes or so. And then even when I do the dry brushing, in between the dry brushing, again, I normally leave it a good 10 minutes just to make sure it's fully dried. Um, obviously it does dry really quick because obviously it's dry brushing. Uh, but yeah, leave it for a good 10 minutes before doing the next next one. So the 20 minutes is purely uh, from the moment I started painting on the contrast paints. And again, this is obviously because it is just a case of going over as though you're doing normal sort of like block colours. So I know a lot of you guys are trying out this method now, or you may have been doing it for quite some time, or you may have even been doing this for years. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, how you get on with this sort of technique, uh, how long you've been doing it, and the sort of, yeah, what sort of improvements or enjoyability it's given you in your sort of painting and the rest of it. So we'll be doing a video soon of how to get into, obviously, this hobby, or the basics of what you need. Um, I'm just trying to arrange with someone to obviously get like a little box set made up of, yeah, all the things you kind of need just to get in this hobby and, um, well, start enjoying painting and assembling miniatures. So yeah, as you can see, obviously you're trying to compare them both. I'm trying to make this one or paint it with similar sort of colours. Uh, obviously, I'm still haven't got like the full range of all the contrast or army paint the speed paints. So I am trying to sort of do my best uh, in trying to replicate the colours, just so you can see the difference between the two. Uh, one being obviously uh, slap chopped and one being uh, cell shaded. So there are still a few colours that I uh, I don't have in the sort of like contrast paints. So these ones obviously paint on with the normal sort of colours. Um, and then later on go over with some sort of a wash. Um, yeah, as I say, I am sort of slowly building up 
all the uh, all the contrast dipping inks, army paint and speed paints there are. Uh, but as we all know, this is kind of an expensive hobby. And yeah, especially when it comes to paints. Paints aren't the cheapest of things. Um, so yeah, so it's a case of building them up nice and slowly, but surely. So yes, yeah, so obviously there's a few colours, this one, and definitely obviously the metallic colours. Um, but say, so I am so eager and keen for when the army paints, uh, metallic paints come out, uh, to be trying some of those, just to sort of see, yeah, see what kind of results they give. So the silver I've got is quite a, a watery, translucent one, almost as it is. Um, obviously it's not a contrast one, but you can still see a little bit of the uh, the dry brushing underneath, which is kind of cool. Um, but not obviously for it a nice sort of bold silver, because you would need to do a couple of coats of the, the, the one that I've got. So yeah, finishing off now, just a few little areas to do. And as I say, that's in pretty much done. Uh, it's just a case of now going over the wash, just to sort of give the uh, some shadows to all the uh, non the uh, non contrast paints. Uh, if I can get my teeth in, I'll be able to tell you what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so I, I like to use the uh, the brownish ones. Um, well, I'm running out the ones that I really like. So the ones I've got now are well, they kind of give me oh, a bit of an orangey sort of look, if anything. Uh, but it's not too bad for metal. It's obviously quite good for rust and all the like. So um, so yeah, so there we go. Right, so I think it's time to see this guy in all his glory before I start waffling on about, um, well, price of eggs. And there we go, one mini painted in just over two hours and one mini painted in just 20 minutes. So yeah, guys, let me know which one you prefer the look of. Um, so for me, I love the look of both of these, but definitely when obviously you're sort of painting a lot more figures, then the one on the left is definitely the one to go for. Even though I do like the one on the right just for comical fun value. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to leave some comments down below, share where possible. And yeah, click on this other sort of video over here. Give that a little click. Go and see that one. Uh, definitely check out Mr. Module Orcs stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you love Orcs as much as me, you'll just love everything he does. It, it just looks amazing. Uh, social links all down the side here. And check out Chaos Cards. Uh, link in the description, guys. And there's a discount code. Um, and you'll be able to get sort of 5% off um, 30 pound orders, which would be awesome. And they're, they're very competitively rate uh, priced anyway. So yeah, go check them out. Okay, yeah, I'm about to start waffling. I don't know why I, I, I waffle. It's because I'm sitting here on my own, talking to myself, and now I'm talking to you. Anyway, you guys all take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.